Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be me, really, why do I got to be loud? Anyway, <sighs> oh god, and I have come to a conclusion about the whole, you know, what was causing me to wake up in the middle of the night. That was the pill. Because I didn't take one yesterday. And I slept through the night. So, yeah. It was the pill. And I know it wasn't a pill and a combination of this. Because I had this. The, not yesterday, but the day before. Because I figured I was going to need it. And it still happened. So, but I didn't have one yesterday. Or not yesterday, I didn't have one the first day, it still did it. I had one the second day, it still did it, so it was not that. So it had to be the pill. I don't know why. I do not know why. It, w it was even around the same dang time as well. It was around like 1.40 in the morning when it would wake me up. And I don't know why. If I knew the name of the pill, I would tell you guys so I could find out what some information on it. But I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, this is going to be my review for The Familiar of Zero, episodes 10. No, did I already do episode 10? I think I did. Hang on. It would be 11, 12, and 13, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 11, 12, and 13. Okay. Sorry. I had to look that up. But yes, um... For the new subscribers out there, thank you so much for subscribing. You are getting me just a little bit closer to a thousand subscribers. And now I am in the single digits on getting there. Which is insane. And I am assuming it's partially because of the light novels. Uh, the Kindle has not shown up yet. It's out for delivery right now. If I can... Uh -huh. Pull that up real quick. Anyway. Ugh, I'm sleepy today. I am a sleepy. But I woke up on my own this morning. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, they had to whales, and we actually end up finding out that, uh, dang it, whatever his name is, the night guy, the guy who leads the griffins, he's a bad guy, because he, uh, has one of his henchmen, which is, dang it, whatever her name was, the lady who was trying to get the weapon of destruction, has her tried to delay the has her try to delay uh Saito and uh <sighs> and um dang it whoever else was with them I can't even remember at the top of my head it's been a long while since I've watched the episodes. And it actually succeeds because they have to wait until, I think, the next day before they can... Uh-uh! They stop that! I don't need that on camera! Get out! For some strange reason, my, Jack my nephew Jackson wanted to pull my ne other nephew's underwear down. I don't know why they're being stupid. They're being silly, they're kids. And I was like, no, no, I don't need that on camera. I don't need little boy parts on my camera. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. If I'm gonna actually check that video and make sure that, that was not on my camera. Because <laughs> I am not getting this channel taken down. Guys, behave! Ouch! Go play with them in the living room. 
Be good. Sorry, they grabbed the bag of Legos that was sitting by my desk. My mom sat there, and now they're going to go play with them. All I got to say is they better make clean up their mess. Which, uh, 50-50 chance they won't. And they'll get in trouble for it. Anyway, um... And the reason that, uh, Louise didn't know any of this was going on is because he told her that they decided to go on back without them. And that they're going on ahead by themselves. Uh, Louise ends up getting there and meeting with the Prince of Wales. He seems really nice from what I, from the little bit we know of him. And, uh, she delivers the letter to him. And, um, later on, Louise ends up, uh, finding out this guy's true colors, and he tries to force her into marrying him by control using his uh, henchmen to control her with that ring they were supposed to find by the late guardian that was that precious treasure of hers. It's whatever. And, thankfully... Saito and the others show up, and, uh, break her out of it, but sadly the Prince of Wales ends up getting killed by the captain guy, and, um, turns out that that was what his job was, was to get close enough to the guy to kill him, and that sucks, because I would have loved to see that guy survive, considering what I know what he is now. And, uh, the building ends up catching fire somehow. And thankfully, Saito and Louise get out of there safely. But sadly, the poor Prince of Wales' body is stuck in there. And they head back to try and warn everybody because they're... Uh, he's working with, uh... The rebels, I guess, of the of, of the country of Wales, and they're gonna go and attack their kingdom in an act of war. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, once they get back, uh, the uh, Louise lets the princess know what happened, and obviously the princess is upset because we find out that that was her secret lover. She had, I'm guessing, she had to break it off with him in order to do the whole political marriage thing. And that's what that letter was. So, yeah, she's obviously upset. Because, like I said, the guy seemed like a nice guy. And if the princess liked him enough, it says a lot about him. <sighs> anyway, the students of the school get conscripted into this whole army thing to protect the country against uh, the invaders. And... Saito and the others end up going to try and find this whole dragon thing because there's an eclipse coming up where they think that if he was to ride the dragon into the eclipse, he might have a chance of getting home. Turns out, well, you know, when they get there, it's uh, actually Siesta's country that she was, or Siesta's village, I mean, not country. It, she's in the country, but it's like a little village in the country. Anyway. Uh, the dragon is supposedly hidden there, and it turns out that it's an old, like, World War II plane or something. And the blood of the dragon that the professor had was gasoline. So, he has the guy replicate all the gasoline so he has enough gas to get back. And Louise is getting a little upset that Saito's wanting to go home and leave her there behind. She doesn't, uh, she doesn't show it in the typical you know, fashion, she shows it in, like, a Sundere way. In her usual way. And, anyway, everybody's off fighting the big bad guys as the invaders show up. And Saito starts using the plane. And it turns out it is a lot faster than Tabitha's, uh, Wyvern. I think that's what that was. So they have a hard time keeping up with it. After a bit, he ends up changing his mind and goes to help the others fight. Because, well, he wasn't going to leave them behind. Even though that was his, probably his only chance at getting home. 
<coughs> anyway, during the fights, we find out that Louise can use void magic, which was supposedly lost time, essentially. That nobody could use it. And that's why it wasn't mentioned as any of the elements. So, Saito ends up getting uh, the attention of the big bad guys on his plane and has to fend them off long enough for Louise to use her magic. And it's a the magic is actually able to take out the big bad guys and their flying ship. Which gives the others an edge against them to finally, you know, turn the tide on them. I don't know if they ended up arresting that guy or what, but... Yeah. I kind of knew that Louise was a void user because it kind of got spoiled to me in a video I was watching uh, by Anime America about the top 10, what was it, top 10 uh, most hated characters in anime or something, and Louise was number one. But, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, Saito's there to stay, at least for the time being, until there's another eclipse, in which I doubt he's going to take the advantage. Because by then, I'm sure he would have grown more attached to Louise and the others. But yeah, there's I think there's a budding romance starting between Saito and Louise. At least, uh, from what we've seen so far in the show. Anyway... Um, if I missed anything important, please let me know, but, yeah, I'm gonna have to check that video, uh, just to be sure, because, like I said, I don't want little boy parts in my video. I'm not getting, uh, taken off of YouTube for inappropriate content, uh, -uh. Anyway, I'll get this edited, and if I get a chance to record, I'm gonna start on, uh, the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. So if you guys are excited for that show, be feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. So you can get, you know, at least get phone notifications for my content. If not, email. So yeah, make sure you turn on the notifications on your phone. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.